Hello, this is Haku Devine, and I am back here once again with the things the Octobrite is not allowed to do at the SCP Foundation. Yesterday we ended at 100, today we will be starting at 101. And we might be ending at around 200, maybe 300, we will see. I have taken note that I do tend to let my opinion and now what and I'm reading this and it's and it's all for fun. 101. Dr. Bright is not allowed to request access to all cubicle SCPs to make a foreign of any kind. I'd probably do that, honestly. 102. Dr. Bright is not allowed to play hot potato with SCP-963. That's basically a death sentence. Anyone who touches it. 103. Dr. Bright is not allowed to arrange, schedule, advertise, promote, or sell tickets to cage matches between April and SCP-68, any SCPs. 104. We don't care how many O5s agree to it and how many presents there are. Dr. Bright is not allowed a pet SCP. 105. Dr. Bright is not allowed to combine a cadaver infected with SCP-008 with SCP-217. 106. Dr. Bright and Cliff are no longer <clears throat> allowed to engage in research any activity involving 40 gallons more than a pound any amount of Super Balls. Also, the aforementioned are not allowed, are not to convince or blackmail or compel the class personnel or anybody into conducting such attack, uh, such activities for them. 107. Challenge accepted is not a valid excuse for anything. 108. Dr. Bright is not allowed to lease out SCP-002. Even, especially if it includes the option to buy. 109. Dr. Wright is not allowed to dress up as Joseph Stalin and ambush Agent and Strekhanov. No, Strenikov in the hallways. Actually, Dr. Wright shouldn't be allowed to dress up as any communist dictator. There is no way it could end well. Honestly, Dr. Wright shouldn't be allowed to dress up as any dictator. This story could end well. 110. Dr. Wright is not allowed to access the cafeteria menu more than a day in advance and six hours in advance at all. Nor is he allowed to get anyone to access it for him directly or indirectly. 111. Dr. Wright is not allowed to introduce small children to the giving tree. 112. Dr. Wright is not allowed to borrow SCP-159 for his office. <sighs> 113. <sighs> Dr. Wright is not allowed, allowed near any carbonated beverages while in possession of mental surrounded admits the last time that ha but he saw a man who caused an earthquake in the east coast of the United States. Nope. Dr. Wright is now no longer allowed to complain responsibility for earthquakes and other natural disasters unless he is actually responsible for them. 114. Dr. Wright is not allowed to dare new person anyone to play peekaboo with either SCP-569 or SCP-173. <clears throat> 115. When ordering things online, send them to the PO box blank and not directly to Site-19. We've already had three postmen show up at the front door. How did they even find us? Dr. Bright is not a, is not to give directions to Site-19 to non-Foundation personnel. This should be given. 116. Dr. Bright no longer allowed to give navigational directions to Site-19 anywhere, especially to Foundation and personnel. 117. <clears throat> The SCP Foundation does not have any such position as a Chief Defenestrator. 
Wrong. Agent Clef is not allowed to create new positions. 118. Any proposed containment procedure that includes the phrase giant robot that is to be automatically rejected. <clears throat> 19. Excessive force is not the same as the force, therefore using it does not make Dr. Bright a Jedi. 120. Dr. Bright is not allowed to use SCP-914 to craft items of Team Fortress 2. <sighs> Yes, a medigun would be useful for the Foundation and medical staff. No, we are not going to waste any more SCP-500 attempting to make one, especially not after SCP-427. Dr. Wright is not allowed to use SCP-914 to craft items from Minecraft either. Also, your diamond pickaxe has been confiscated. I guess he hasn't tried to and diamond was the strongest this material in Minecraft. 121. Dr. Bright is not allowed to tell future hosts that you are about to become very bright. And you can't tell anyone that possession is nine-tenths of the law. Dr. Bright is not allowed to refer to D-class personnel as extra lives. 122. Dr. Bright is not allowed to send SCP-1004 over an email a message. I don't know what 1004 is, but I'm guessing it's some sort of digital SCP that no one should be sending in anywhere. <sighs> 123. No matter the electrical savings, no product of SCP-158 is to be used for illumination. <sighs> 124. SCP-001 is not Dr. Bright's penis. The hammer is not his penis. Dr. Bright is not allowed to use his genitals for construction purposes. Ow. 125. Dr. Bright oh, possesses the ability of consciousness transfer and the artifact SCP-963. He does not possess any of the following. Laser eyes, laser nostrils, laser redacted, a green, red, any lantern ring, an adamantium skeleton, and a roll. Moiner, a map linked to all of the Nazi gold, the ancient medallion, a copy of the Necronomicon, a King James, a King James version of the Necronomicon. That would be inaccurate anyway. Cybernetic implants of any kind, the dragon sword. I don't care how you did, put it back. The seventh element of harmony, infallible Gadar. Infallible. I'm gonna uh, stop right there. I am not asthmatic enough for that. The touch, the power, the secret, telepathy, telekinesis, the original filming model of any fictional spacecraft, elite hacker skills, the sixth sense, the ability to distinguish between butter and I can't believe it's not butter. And yes, there is an article about I can't believe it's not butter. It's a joke SCP. We can read it another time though. 126. If Dr. Bright's current form is side near an armory without express permission, initiate evacuation procedure blank. 127. Dr. Bright is not allowed to test SCP-826 with his self-authored comic book until Dr. Bright and the 879 versions of Playboy magazines. Anything. Just nothing. 128. Dr. Bright is a genius, second best only to man. He and I are buds, lulz. <clears throat> Dr. Bright is not allowed to give SCP-732 access to this document. You know what? Dr. Bright is not allowed to give any SCP access to this document without O5 approval. 129. Dr. Bright is not allowed to tell new class personnel. The class... As for saying that SCP-439 has escaped into the barracks. 130. Dr. Wright is not allowed to convince other personnel that they are actually Dr. Bright. 131. Dr. Wright is not allowed to challenge SCP-82 to a drinking contest. Even if he's positive he can win. 132. 
We have never had a Jamaican invocation in giveaway. Dr. Bright is not in charge of it, and SAV342 is not the official Foundation travel voucher. 133. Dr. Bright is not allowed access to SAV243 except under strict supervision. I think we all remember the Great Marital Aid Migration of 2011. 134. Dr. Wright is not allowed to challenge Dr. Wright on to a race involving any sort of vehicle. Dr. Wright is not allowed to challenge Dr. Gerald to a race involving anything. 135. Dr. Wright is not allowed to access the IT department hotline, access the IT department database, access any or equipment belonging to the IT department. 136. Dr. Wright is not allowed to bring samples of SCP-1361 <coughs> Excuse me. to Foundation potlucks, barbecues, or charity food drives. 137. SCP-963 is not a soul gem. Making a contract with Dr. Wright will not turn you into a magical girl. Not even if he includes a magical girl outfit. 138. SCP-963 is uh, not the soul gem. Bright does not have access to the Infinity Gauntlet. Please stop glaring people who annoy you and snapping. This is a little bit more modern. It looks like, anyway. <sighs> 139. Dr. Bright is not allowed to use SCP-137 on any Hasbro product. Hasbro, by the way, owns Wizards of the Coast. Under no circumstances is Dr. Wright allowed to expose 137 to Warhammer 40k a minifigures. Again, not even an attempt to terminate at CP682. Or anything made by Watertainment. 140. Not allowed to have Able get into arguments with forum trolls. 141. Dr. Bright is not allowed to go trick-or-treating, ever. <sighs> At least they aren't saying it's because of his age. 142. Abel is not Kratos. 143. Dr. Bright is no longer allowed to produce, create, or remind staff of SCP Robot Wars. 144. <clears throat> Copies of SCP-1981 are, are not to be submit e submitted to America's Funniest Home Videos. That is ancient anyway. Or post on YouTube. Or on You've Redacted. Or to put Tosh.0. I'm surprised Tosh.0 still exists. 145. Dr. Wright is not allowed to just say no to O5 orders on the grounds they are instances of scp a5200J. 146. Dr. Wright is not allowed to refer to O5 Command, MTF Commanders, the Janitor, any Foundation personnel as the Cool Kids. 147. Dr. Wright is not the final boss of anything. 148. Dr. Wright has not won the internet and is not authorized to declare that any other individual has done so. Nor is he a allowed to claim or distribute instances of SCP-335 under said premise. 149. Dr. Bright is not allowed to take SCP-1187 for a morning ride. 150. Dr. Bright is not allowed to submit any instance in regards to the rewards. Not even if you're sure it could win. It would win. 151. Dr. Wright is not allowed to teach SCP-1370 to play multiplayer t video games. It was not an improvement giving it the, the vocabulary of a preteen blank player or introducing it to the concept of teabagging. 152. The iPods do not need hats, bow ties, or any form of clothing. But that's cute. But it's cute when they wear that stuff. 153. Dr. Wright is not allowed to use expunged data in SCP reports as Mad Libs. 154. Robo Dude is not a piece of the broken god. 
155. Dr. Bright is not allowed to create an, an anatomically correct body epoch. Hello, Mar after SP-173, SP-105, SP-999J, SP-762, or Dr. Crow. 156. The following are not appropriate forces for D-class personnel. Tip agencies, Craigslist, reality show talent pools, Jerry Springer, Jerry Springer or tapings, orphans, urchins, ragamuffins, those sons of dogs who snatch up my pay who's scratching my paint job at the car wash. Ex-girlfriends, ex-boyfriends, ex-partners of any jet in their variation whatsoever. Staff members and in-laws. YouTube comment and, and threads. Arm trolls, angsty teams. Bad applications to the SP Foundation. Do something that's been made, but the rest are off limits. Occupy Wall Street, the Tea Party, the Green Party, the Green Party, the Gathering, Ing of the Juggalos. How the fuck do they work? One fifty seven. The following are not SC APs. Rainbows. Double rainbows. Rain booms. Whether sonic or otherwise. I think that's a I love pony thing. The tides. The moon. Freaking magnets. Rocks that skip three times for to go in the water. Soy cheese. Hippies, hipsters, milfs, G milfs, <sighs> GG milfs, actually funny SNL skits, as these do not exist, they cannot be SCPs. Anyone's breasts, people could solve Rubik's Cubes of any size, shining any Pokemon. <clears throat> but 58, nobody ever refers to Dr. Bright as Tim, and he is no longer allowed to introduce new personnel to SCP-524. Hmm. 159, the platypus is not an SCP. No, really, no, not even an, an X. 160, Dr. Bright is not allowed to test internet crew possible rights using d class C personnel. 161. SV963 is not a millennium item. 162. Dr. Bright should refrain from trying to convince SCP-237 to become a brony. Not even to improve his exposition. For that matter, trying to make SCP-42 a brony will just make things worse. 163. Put an equine, no matter how small, through SCP-914 on very fine again is strictly forbidden. No, you cannot keep it. <clears throat> 164. The attitude contained in Bridge is never to recruit a team of teenagers with attitude. Or to send five rings to five special young people. Or to ask junior staffers if they are bad enough dudes to contain the breach. 165. Dr. Bright is not allowed to claim he has been trained to conquer galaxies. 166. Dr. Bright may not attempt to neutralize SCP-682 using the power of friendship, the power of love, or any, of, or any other sort of power which has not been proven to actually exist. 167. Dr. Bright does not remind anyone of the babe with the power of voodoo and is not allowed to tell anyone else that they remind him of the same. 168. The Chaos Insurgency has no interest in summoning the events in the material universe to serve the Igrunas powers of chaos, and therefore Dr. Bright is not permitted to inform the new researchers otherwise. 169. Dr. Bright is not allowed to write SCP and SCP a 582 account in order to deal with Tier 7, which would get on his nerves. 170. Dr. Bright is not allowed to stick refrigerator magnets to foundation equipment and SCP-914, SP-882, SP-217, victims, piece of the broken god, any magnetic objects within, SC within foundation control. 171. SP-1916 only works if administered orally. We know this. There is no reason to test further, Dr. Bright. 
172. Why not? It's not considered authorization for SCP cross testing. 173. The Foundation has no mobile task force dedicated to capture and containment of forum trolls. Dr. Bright is not allowed to fund found a new mobile task force dedicated to capture and containment of forum trolls. <sighs> 174. The serpent's hand is not a synonym for touching yourself. 175. Yo mama is not so ugly as Who 96 didn't look at her. 176. SV-173 is not a babysitter. Having SCP-173 plate where's a baby is downright cruel. Not as Dr. Bright claims expletive hilarious. 177. Dr. Fry is no longer invited to the annual Foundation holiday party. Dr. Fry is not allowed to host his own Foundation holiday party. Dr. Fry, the uh, Foundation holiday party is cancelled indefinitely. 178. SCP 682 does not have a Wonder Entertainment logo stamped on its upper palette. Or on its posterior. <sighs> 179. Playing the song Thriller in the presence of SCP 008 victims is expressly forbidden. <clears throat> Letting out SCP 008 victims and punching them to simulate Minecraft is also forbidden. Pushing several agents in front of SCP 008 victims to simulate. Resident Evil is not a valid excuse either. Dr. Fry is no longer allowed near victims of SCP-008. 180. SCP-682 will not be sated by the ritual sacrifice of a virgin. 181. Filming, directing, or performing in celebrity sex tapes are not appropriate work assignments for Mr. Deeds. 182. Anything involving the word elephant and sauce. Site 19 is still recovering from the last in in incident. 183. I like a little junk in the trunk is not valid authorization to feed. SCP-1575-1 to an elephant. 184. Dr. Bright is under no circumstances to attempt possession of SCP-682. Actually, he already has tried that. It did not work as he planned. 185. <clears throat> I touched SCP-1453 a little while ago. It's not a valid excuse for any container breach. 186. Dr. Wright is not to use this list as a resume. 187. Dr. Wright shall not, may not be getting sentences with thou shalt not. Even especially in the presence of SCP-343. <clears throat> 188. Use of... Uh, of double, triple, quadruple, any uh, number of negatives to obtain security clearance will result in the repetition of kindergarten. No, swift punishment. 189. Dr. Wright is not allowed to recreate any experiment on seen on the TV pro program Mythbusters using any SCP, especially not if he can and, and do it better. 190. Regardless of whether or not it exists, Dr. Bright certainly does not ha enjoy diplomatic immunity as a, a local consul of the Islamic Republic of Eastern and Thrace. Dr. Bright is not allowed to put SCP-278 into SCP-914 on course so I can make more of them. SCP- uh, uh, no. 192. Dr. Bright is not allowed to transfer, copy, upgrade, relocate SCP-879 onto any form of high capacity in a, in a storage device. 193. SCP-1156 is not Dr. Bright's royal state aid. 194. 
Logibrite is not allowed to use SCP-1543-J to launch SCP-8727-J into itself again. 195. Even if Dr. Spray is wearing an patch, he is not allowed to kill haul anyone. Not even on Talk Like a Pirate Day. Talk Like a Pirate Day is not allowed to be celebrated at Site 19. Any person now violating this rule will walk the plank, be severely punished. There is no such thing as Talk Like a Ninja Day, and Dr. Bright is not allowed to create it. 196. Introducing SCP 682 to SCP 002 just to see. It will happen is not recommended. Don't even think about out uh, I said stop thinking about it. 197. Cause I just said that. Dr. Ray is no longer allowed to interview new personnel. It's even and especially not if they ask for it. Or him. I was I lost my place. 198. Dr. Bright is not Kenny. We also ask new researchers and Bright to stop referring to himself as such. 199. Dr. Bright is not allowed to play SCP Roulette with SCP-173, a light switch, and any combination of D-class and new personnel. And finally, 200. Dr. Bright is not allowed to ask SCP-738, What would you want in exchange for not making this deal with me? <clears throat> anyway, that is 101 to 200 of the things Dr. Bright is not allowed to do at the SCP Foundation. If you were planning on doing these things at an SCP Foundation, I first must warn you that 1. The SCP Foundation is a fictional place and two, doing these things is expressly forbidden, even for someone who is Site Command, so obviously it would be forbidden for you as well. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time with 201 to 300, I think. Until then, goodbye. If you did not like this video, then you really need to stop watching videos you don't like up to the end. This is half an hour of your day just gone on something you didn't even like. Why are you wasting that time for? You could have done. You could have spent that time on whatever you do like. Anyway, I'll see you next time.